And if I want to quickly do a brief history of Yoruba culture specifically, we never had any problem of gender uh, disparity before the advent of Western society, I mean, contact with Europeans and then maybe with Arabs, with the Easterners too. We used to have a society where women can be Orisha, where a woman is, a wo we've had women who, are, who were Obas, we've had only a woman, we've had Alafi a woman, we've had the first Oba in Ondo town was a woman the daughter of uh, Odudua. We've had series, Moremi is an example of a very strong woman who had done well, Oshu, and many others like that, both in prehistory and even legendary. What I want to say is that culture will play a huge role. By the time the Westerners brought their own culture, this, their religion, education we had borrowed some of these narratives of women bringing sins to the world and the women causing so much issues around this space and the rest that when those ones had even stepped out of their gender issues long we still hold on to such um, values Patriarchy is number one uh, problem. But Yoruba people are not strictly patriarchal. They are patriarchal, matriarchal society. Of course, the Western narratives and literature will bring uh, Yoruba people are patriarchal, and they have, their women have been down. No. We have Yalodi, we have Yanifa, we have Yaloja, Yalaje. We've had several types of women contributing. Our, taking it outside there in the public space, just like in the private spaces too. What I'm driving at is that, you see women themselves are their own number one problems. When I was aspiring, women did not vote for me. I met uh, Professor Sarah Jubre recently. We were at Abuja together. She had a lone vo vote when she aspired to become president. the president of Nigeria. Maybe you never had that before. She had a vote of herself. But meanwhile, she had a PA. Who was a woman. Who was a woman. But she voted. In my own case, all the votes I got, because I traced all the votes, I traced it. All the votes I got at the primary were given to me by men, not women. If all the women, women are in politics. I'm in politics. When you see our rally, you see more women dancing, singing. If they had decided for once to kill behind a woman like themselves, and I mean, you know what that one. During election itself, women vote more. It's not a, I, I'm always on the field. I monitor votes. I campaign. Women vote more. We, in fact, not young women, elderly women. They, they, I don't know why they do that. Men will just be doing their own thing. Women will be on the queue, sweating in the sun. If it's raining, they will stay there and be voting. If they decide to come around, you see, I'm, I'm very, very tired of hearing women are not being given voice. This is not true. I asked a woman who is very close to me, a speaker of a state, how are we going to sit down? I asked her pointedly, OK, all right, how are we going to sit down and start mobilizing for women? We, want, we need a woman to become a governor someday soon. So women did not take me there. Hmm. The party took me there. And all the players are male. Let me tell you, our women, we are just trying our best. Thank God it's even changing. The few of the women in good positions now, men to them there. No. The truth is that we cannot have legislation, the legislation on women passed easily if we don't have more women in the seat, on the seats. That is the truth. But we don't support ourselves to get there. You must get there. It's when, it's when you are there. You, you, you'll be able to push your own agenda. You push. It's your own thing. It's you that you are giving back, not males. They don't know. 
It's when you get there. What I'm saying is that we are just scratching it at the surface. We should go deep and talk to ourselves as women. We should not be crying um, wolf all the time. Women need to talk to themselves. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Women, we need to talk to ourselves, support ourselves more before we go outside there. When a woman comes out for a position, let us all rally around. It's very, very competitive out there. Very expensive. It needs huge lot of money. Okay, let's start contributing for another woman. Do you understand? Madam, you want to come out for House of Assembly, isn't it? All the women here, one, two, three, four, five, let this be our own project and we start mobilizing. Most of those people that are there, those women that are there, are got, they got there through husbands, through boyfriends, through fathers, they will still have to report back to those. They are gatekeepers for patriarchy. When I aspired, my immediate younger brother came from UK. Do you know that those women that I've been carrying about, going to meetings with, giving Ankara and everything, I'm a salary earner. It was uh, Prof. Professor Abubakar Momo who encouraged me, seeded the first thousand into the project. Another uncle in UK sent boss. Men supported me like my father, everybody. Do you know that? They had to call my younger brother, women, no, elderly women, that Prince, why would you be support? If it's you now, we will support you. That one said, I'm not a politician. I don't even know why, what Inka is doing in politics. That she's the one that likes politics. A woman, women like me. We need to talk to ourselves. We need to start public education, women education, to talk to ourselves, to tell ourselves the truth. Stop shouting, stop crying wolves. It's you, you need to put yourself, yourselves first. Support yourselves and see, who are those voting? When we have women leaders in any constituency, you have women leaders in the world, women leaders everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Do you understand? Let all the women vote for one woman and some men will support that person will emerge. Take one woman, make her a governor. Mm. Like Ashwadu is making people governors here and here. Senators. Until women start raising capacities among themselves. The Western society is now different. We cannot be copying damn you. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is a zero gender tolerance society we have our issues we can't copy america here someone died on a man a man died on his own wife the family picked the woman stripped her naked and women did that women perpetrated that the also cast i mean the widowed practice among ego women is the sisters of the widow i mean the, the sisters of the disease that will hold the widow scrape the head and start maltreating them. Women are the ones to talk to themselves. I hate pretenses coming out here. Men know they should give us space. Nobody is giving you space. Get the space. Your space is there. Go in there and take the space. Why are we deceiving ourselves? When a woman will not support a woman, you want me to start going and then taking black hat? No. Shawari has been trying to contest. Of course, now he has issues with the Nigerian government. And um, I raised this somewhere, just recently, maybe two days ago, that if Shore is serious about helping Nigeria, about coming to the um, platform, to the government, seriously, he needs to either join PDP or APC. Someone, of course, more than 80% of the people there agreed. Several said no. I said we cannot, if we continue to allow them, especially my colleagues in the university, they like to, you know, criticize a lot. And we are public servants. You can be partisan. And I often encourage them because I'm a politician too. I would aspired to reps in my state before mm. an assembly. I tried my best. Mm. I didn't have money. Mm. 
and no godfather. Mm. And there was no way I could spend Nigeria um, electioneering needs huge lot of money. Mm. So I now told my colleagues, including Prof, we often discuss this mm. in his office and any other places we find ourselves at. We need to encourage academics to come into the we need to encourage people of integrity yeah. of, of course assume that we are of course above mm. well, they, they <laughs> <they're, they're laughs> yeah, i mean that we should unless we hijack the structure because to if the, the eye neck rules of planting a political party in Nigeria is even killing. Mm. We must have offices in the 36 states of the federation. Mm. We, I mean, running. Is it uh, too tall, Abby? Too tall also. Yeah. How do you do that? Then the poverty in the land itself. 80% mm. of Nigerians are in hardship. Mm. And the only thing that all these people want during the election, I mean, is a cup of rice, tomatoes, t-shirts, and karate women, and they will be singing. And the apathy, seriously, during voting is serious. Nobody trusts the elect ele election process in Nigeria anymore. Whether you vote or not, they had written the results. results. It has happened severally, however, the way forward to me is for people of integrity to step into this party stroke, go in the registered member, start mobilizing, and start changing the structures right from the chairman of the party, mm -hmm. state to national, to the world. Mm -hmm. Unless we think, and, and, and there was a time we were doing MPC, NCP, Abby, NCP. Of course, our comrade there. LA, Lamia Rogula, they used to be national chairman. We could not even win a ward, um, a seat in the ward around Agege, where we have the labor, militant labor office at Agbati Kuyote. We could not. Because the money bags had hijacked it. And if we don't go in there deliberately to unhijack it, there is nothing we can do.